What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, some exciting news for a lot of Bernie supporters. All the people that have been working hard in social media and uh, YouTube making videos. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Um, all the hard work and especially Bernie has been doing the footwork going state to state, city by city. Not pandering to the media that when he finally gets on of this Hillary bashing, they want him always to try to bash Hillary so they can use that against him. Like, oh, see, look, he's bashing Hillary. He must be a sexist. No, and he's not going to because he's running his campaign with integrity. He's not going to do the foolish games. There was one video that they tried, they asked him about his hair or his hair or her hair and and he flat out told him, um, are you serious? I'm running for president and you're asking me about hair? Why don't you talk about the issues I'm talking about? About students, uh, there's a $1 trillion debt in, in, in student loans. Why are you not talking about that? Why are you not talking about the, the, the top 1% is taking the majority of the money and the income inequality? Why are you not talking about that? And they, they were quiet. They were stunned. He's not going to fall for the bull crap. He's not going to fall for the shit. So now, with all his hard work and everybody that's band together with the contributors and, and the, the, the grassroots movement, he is now the front runner, front runner, excuse me, front runner in Iowa. 41 Bernie Sanders, 40 to Hillary Clinton. And, and just in two months, in two months... Hillary had almost a 20-point lead against Bernie Sanders. And Washington and the insiders are shitting bricks. They hate it. They don't want... Or all the. They just don't understand why his message, why his campaign is, is, is surging so much. Why is it that he only has 10% of the money Hillary has? He only has 10% of the money of Trump or everybody else that has the, the super PACs and billionaires. Why is he surging so much? And the answer is you, me. The majority of the American people are tired of establishment government, establishment politics, establishment politicians. We are sick and tired of this crap. And that is true. If you look at everything that Bernie stands for, that is talking about the issues that comes out of his mouth, the majority, just look at the polls. Look at for yourself. The majority of what he's talking about, the, the people are behind it. And that's what's resonating. They, they hate it that it's resonating with us. They want it to be like the billionaire's control. But the problem is... Millions of people don't get their news from mainstream media. That's what they, 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 they seem to not realize that. We stream our TV now. We stream on internet. We, a lot of, like me, I get my, my news from independent media. I go online. I, I check people that are not filtered through this corporate, this, this corporate lens. I choose to go with them because... They're not talking about Kim Kardashian. They're not talking about uh, the stupidness. They're not talking about garbage that I don't give a shit about. I care about the issues. I'm in my 30s already. I, and I, I have children. I have a family. I want my kids to be able to have a better place after I'm gone. And it's not happening with establishment gov uh, on politicians. We've tried it. It's not working. It's not. So now, overall, they're, they're, they're trying to, now they're, they're bracing for themselves. They're trying to figure out what to do. Now they're trying to push for Joe Biden to get into the, the, to the race, to steal some of Bernie's fire, to steal some of his, his energy. And Biden hasn't even gotten, hasn't even committed to anything yet. 
and Biden has already given his his thumbs up to the the the, the Bernie campaign. I love I, I like Joe and everything like that, but we need change. We need real change. And even if you don't agree with Bernie on a majority of the things, he's the change we're looking for. Just listen to him. Keep listening. You'll come around. If you see the differences between him and Trump and him and Hillary or the rest of the clown car Republicans that are running, there is a huge difference between Bernie and the rest of them. He cares about us. He does not pander to billionaires. His campaign says, run by us and Bernie Sanders, not by the billionaires. He does not have a super PAC, so he don't have to deal with favors. I say this in a lot of my videos. I'm not a Hillary basher. I just want change, and I don't see that with Hillary because she's just an establishment politician. She's getting hundreds of millions of dollars from super PAC, from a super PAC. And all that money equals favors, and those favors are not for you. On both sides of the aisle, Democrat and Republican. They're not looking out for us, guys. They're not. You might think they are, but they're not. Democrats are less like, you know, they, they, they vote a little more for us. But the Republicans and, and, and corporate Democrats go for the billionaires. They search for a billionaire to fund them, and they spew out the crap they say, and hope that you vote for them. Bernie has the 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 majority of his contributions average out to like thirty five dollars, and he's still going. He's stretching every penny that we give him, that I give him, that you give him. And if you don't have money, there's ways of spreading the word out there. Go out in, in New York recently. I'm in New York. We had hundreds of people going out there and spreading the word for him. Talking about it. Wearing the shirts. Telling him why we should vote for him and not Hillary or the rest of Republicans. So now, it's great news that he's a front runner now. Naturally, Hillary's still ahead. But if you follow politics like I do, and I'll pass presidential ele elections, he's already winning um, New Hampshire. He's already taken over Iowa. Those are two battle state, um, battleground states that if you win, the national polls tend to follow. And then that's when you're going to see a tidal wave of press because then they can't block him out if he wins those states the mainstream media has to cover him because he's going to be the front runner and we haven't had a debate once we have a debate and they have to put him on there's only going to be six but I'm, I, I, I assure you that with those six debates he's going to give a smackdown to everybody on that stage and the Republicans that seem to tell you that they're for you. They're not for you. If you get through thinking that they're just for the billionaires, you understand what Bernie's talking about. There's a few people that are controlling our government. The money equals favors. And those favors are not for you. Just think to yourself. Just keep saying that to yourself. If you really want change, you have to get money out of politics. You have to get your voice out there. You have to go to the primaries and you have to vote. You have to make, make your voice heard. Not voting is not a revolution. Not voting is giving in and ha giving in to the war against us you're giving up you're waving the white flag already when you don't vote you're already you're just basically saying here you go white flag take my, my take my country if the majority of us vote all the money in the world can't take the election 
keep pushing guys like this video share this video get the word out there subscribe to my channel we need to do this for Bernie Bernie is working hard for us ever since he's been in Washington he has fought for us every time every single time he is there putting the issues out there that nobody else talks about anyway take care guys remember follow the money money equals favors and the favors are not for you take care